Um, how about uh, you, Rob? What are you guys doing? Uh, I'm just going to chill for now, not do much. Okay, you're going to find an inn and chill there? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Brian's going to shop around for a full face helmet. Shop, <coughs> shop, shop, shop around. Okay. Channel KO now is going to find an armory. Uh, an armory or an armorer? Because <clears throat> the armory is pretty well protected. <clears throat> <laughs> I think she meant an armorer. Okay. Just I'm just checking. I want to see if she's trying to break into the armory or not, which would be. I'm gonna out. hang out with the channel. Chao, someone who try to go in weapons. from the room. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. find. Yeah, that's that's no problem. You guys can uh, basically, if you want to find a uh, weaponsmith, yeah. essentially. Yeah, you can find that. That's that's no big deal. How much does it cost to mastercraft something? 150. 150 gold. Yeah. <clears throat> Do I find anyone selling helmets that are full face? Yes. Okay. How you much find does it cost? Uh, what's the book price on it? This would be a fluff thing, so oh, fluff thing, make man? it up. Because it's not going to actually augment his armor class any, in any yeah. way. Um, then in this case, Flux, I would say whatever helmet you want, just add like add like five gold to it. Or five whatever. If it costs like 25 silver, make it 30 silver. It's 25 gold, 30 gold. Oh, Wait, there what? are no prices for helmets in yeah, the Yeah, there is no price for helmets. Oh, there's no price for helmets? The way oh, armor yeah. works, Lord oh, Cat, right. is usually, depending on the, uh, what the type of armor is, it would I normally think... either come with or without a helmet. Yeah. I get... oh, and it's for okay. fluff reason he wants to have a helmet. So yeah, he wants to be able to hide his face. This would be something you make up on your own. Mm. Uh, how much did your armor cost again? My armor? Yeah. Uh, Are you wearing plate? Yeah, wearing... Are you pla plate or scale? I'm wearing. He did start out mail. with scale. Band and now mail. he's wearing band. And... It's two hundred fifty. What I'm currently wearing. So I guess we would take a fraction of that. Yeah, and, um... like I make you a branded helmet for your armor. There you go. Yeah, uh, I just um two hundred fifty for that. Uh, 50 gold for the helmet. Damn! <laughs> um, Dude, gonna... do you want to take a loan from Thule, Thule, and Thule? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I use diplomacy to haggle with him? Sure. Okay. Oh, isn't there a barter skill? I thought... No. Uh, no, it's diplomacy. No, a barter skill is a different yeah. one. Never mind. Yeah, diplomacy is fine. You can roll that if you want. Or if you want to roleplay it, I guess you try that too. You're able to haggle him down. Um, 35 gold. What happens if I throw in the spiffy hat in exchange? <laughs> he, looks, he looks at your hat. Oh, what was the hat again? I forgot. That was the, the one that happened orc. Oh, that's right. He was the, the orc oh, spiffy the hat. hat. He looks at it and goes, that's, that's a very, very nice hat. Uh, anything special about it? It's cool looking. Yeah, it does you look bastard. pretty cool. How about, the, how about the ladies? Do the ladies like it? Yes, they do. Uh, wait, crap. I can't lie. Um... <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, they did shit. I can't say that. They may prefer it. Uh, you haven't tested it out, lie. have you? He doesn't know. No, I haven't tested it out. You'd be the first one to test it out on the ladies. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't see Brand as a ladies man. Sorry. If hang on, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get, let me, let me do this real quick. Uh, he goes. Channel Chao. Actually, Brand could say yes. He says, "I'll channel Chao because Mel wanted the damn hat." I'll say. Uh, he he says, "I'll I'll tell you what. If you go to the Squirrely Tabard Inn." And you come back with that. Uh, you come back with that. That nice female dwarf Skog, and uh, and she likes you because of that hat. Uh, I'll sell you the helmet. F uh, I'll sell you the helmet for fifteen gold. I will consider your offer. Brand's gonna say as he walks off. <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> I, just, I just like that somehow Flux has the hat again. What a distinct member Dr. Cat that's saying he stole it from him back at the orcs room. He technically never stole it from him. Yeah, he said he wants it. He's going to steal it, but I never could did. I could have swore I've stated clearly I swiped it from him. No, you did not try to swipe it. You tried. You said you wanted it. So what does he want me to do to, for a discount? <laughs> he wants you to pick up a girl at a bar, yeah. essentially, is what he boiled it down to. <clears throat> I don't know if your paladin has any it's a... of celibacy or anything like that. Brand has no oath, oath of celibacy. But... I, I didn't know. I was just asking. But he is a divorced man. I don't know how he <laughs> yeah. feels about this. <laughs> He's been out of the saddle for a while. He's a little rusty with his game. Well, he wants <laughs> you. Game, basically, just... the shopkeeper wants you to prove that the hat is as sexy as you claim it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he never claimed it to be sexy, but well, I mean, attractive. Shopkeeper thought it was. <sighs> it's cool. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to give it to somebody else to do it and then say you did it, but... No, Brand's going to put on the spiffy hat, <laughs> make sure his armor looks shiny, and stride into the club. <laughs> you drive into the Squirrely Tabard Inn, uh, and you know that, and you notice right away that this is a, quite the upper-class establishment. 
Um, there's several floors to this building, uh, and as you walk in, you're, you're greeted by a hostess who says, Hi, can I help you? Um, yes, I'm looking for, what was the name again? Asgog. Asgag, basically. Okay, that sounds like I'm, I'm hooking with an orc. Okay, um, I'm looking for Asgag. Ah, the ah the dwarf. She she comes in quite regularly. She's she's at the bar right now. I swear to God, if it fucks his ex-wife, <laughs> I'm gonna walk to the bar. No, his, his ex-wife wasn't named a gag. No, <clears throat> Asgag. All right, you walk up to the bar. You notice a gag. She has uh she has red hair and gray eyes and a roundish nose. Uh, she's wearing leather armor, and uh, she has a sword, sword and a dagger on her sheath. Um, and she just sort of uh, eyes around a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to character act um, Bran Mackey on a lady, so I'm just going to do bl- diplomacy. Okay. Channel. K.O. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> uh, you talk with her for a little bit, uh, and she lets a couple of things slip as you talk with her. Um, during your conversation, you pick up on the idea that she, she might be an assassin for hire. What? Oh, I like how you got to. And that she's and that she's looking for and and that she's uh, here, uh, basically looking for work from the upper class, the nobles. Um, <laughs> she did not. Like she did not seem interested in your spiffy hat, though. <laughs> I like the not thing. always shale, not always. I, I was the stepped into type. something way too deep here. <laughs> <laughs> Flex, the best part is I was literally in the middle of typing that sentence that I posted as you rolled that 12, and that's why I wrote the nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, wait, that's 12. Never mind. He stepped into something really deep here, and he can't get out, out because he's a paladin. Detect evil. Detect evil. This is where detect evil comes in handy. You detect that she is, in fact, a very evil assassin who has probably killed people for money. Oh, boy. Of course, this still doesn't mean that he won't get laid. <laughs> It'll be an interesting crisis of faith, but he could still technically get laid if he pulls it off. I know what, this really? isn't the rule for sense motive, but can I size the person up? Yeah, you can size her up. She seems she seems relatively capable of handling herself. Um, uh, very uh, very agile for a dwarf, and uh, you you see how she can. Uh, you see how she uses her fingers uh, as she uh, glides them across the glass. Uh, she's probably very, very good with her dagger. <clears throat> no, what really sucks is that I, as I'm sure Flux and probably knows the way the, the way he needs to handle this because he just came across an evil assassin. But he's by himself. I don't know if he'd be able to take her on his own. Any any other character, I would have immediately turned around and left. But I can't with Bran. <laughs> That's yeah, you can't ignore like... this information, dude. You can't step away from this. Anyone else would just be like, well, I am sorry to bother you, miss. Bye. It's like, I'm going to leave before you kill me. But no, Bran as a holy paladin of Heronius is like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, gotta my do something about this. walk away with penis attacked. <laughs> I'm going to talk Channel. to her and, and, and ask her to excuse me as I go use the restroom. <laughs> And while well, in the restroom, I'm gonna pray. Yeah, no, in the restroom, I'm gonna pray to Heronius for guidance on what I should do here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's, talk- he's gonna go talk to his god. Here we go. So, oh, so here's how I'm gonna word it. So Heronius, I started macking on some ladies, <laughs> and then I found out one of them was an assassin, who I Who's may or am- <laughs> yeah, an evil assassin I who swear. I need to take back to get a discount. But that phrasing of macking on assassin, Heronius is the blackest motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, in your head, a vision of Heronius appears. Uh, he appears. To, he appears to you as uh, a white human male wearing a wearing an overly sized white T-shirt and overly sized pants, with gold chains, a backwards hat, and sunglasses. <laughs> oh he has four gold watches on his left arm, and he goes, "Yo, yo, yo, bro, what you doing? I am Heronius, motherfucker! You gotta go in there and kick some ass!" <laughs> Great. I was hoping for Shaft or Black Dynamite, and we got White Dynamite. <laughs> Nigga, did I ever, didn't I tell you not to bother me when I'm doing my Kung Fu? Motherfucker, why are you asking me? You know this. You a paladin, bitch. Yes, Erroneous. I'm going to say, yes, I stop praying and make a mental note to not do that again. <laughs> Out of character, Fluxen, I would probably suggest, in order to probably make sure you don't get killed, Maybe go get a group of guards to come accompany you, but when you will go to apprehend her? God, your god's federline from the Cleveland show. <laughs> <laughs>
Fuck. Um. It's the whitest motherfucker in the history of white. This is worse than that white guy in the red t-shirt I saw doing the Macarena like a gangster. <coughs> okay. Brooke is going to try to quietly slip out of the club and go alert some guards that he may or may not be getting. He's going to get in a fight with a, um assassin. Uh, you try to you try to slip out of the inn, and you do, but you do notice that the... <clears throat> Uh, that the female dwarf assassin as gag uh, as gag has uh, did notice you trying to sort of slip away and gives you sort of a um, sort of a smile and a little a little finger wave like she's uh, trying to get your attention Grand's <laughs> gonna do the think she likes you <laughs> <laughs> that has magical sex. hey man a discount's a discount you should bring magical her back sex appeal Fucking... well Technically, if you say you thrust your sword into her, you won't be lying. <laughs> <laughs> the day before Bran goes back to Mulan, he has to break his vows. <laughs> the day before. <laughs> this is like the cop of David from retirement who gets murdered by the fucking payday crew. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> Sorry, Flux. Do it, Flux. Be a man, fighter. <laughs> The shoulder devils, all five of us are ever with you. No, no, I'm not. I'm I'm the shoulder angel on the other side going, you probably don't want to take her on your own. It's probably a bad idea. You might want to go get some help. Yeah. Rand's going to go get some guards. Okay. <laughs> you get a couple of guards who uh, uh, who, who you, you've gathered their attention by saying, uh, is gag the assassins the inside that tavern. <laughs> all right, they're, they're uh, paying attention to you. Wait a second. Quickly, can you were exactly word what the, what the armorer guy said? For what? To get the discount, what I had to do, I had to just come back with that. You had to come back with her. Okay. He didn't say. He might it. be trying to hire her though. No, he didn't say in what piece. Correct. He said he you. He said you had to come back with her because she liked the hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm my best. hat of plus five sex appeal. It's gonna be my best diplomacy roll when this is all through. But let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. How much is this helmet again? <coughs> fifty gold. gold. I can just give you fifty gold. You know this, right? He uh, he, he said he said originally fifty gold. He knocked, he talked it down to thirty, um, but then uh, he said if he if he did this uh, little side quest, uh, he would knock it down to fifteen. <clears throat> considering the full, considering the whole piece of armor was two fifty, I think that's okay. If you just came back and talked to us, Brand's gonna go inside the club. You go the inn. It's not a club. Uh, you no, go no. go inside the inn with the guards. I know, I'm going to tell the guards to wait back. Okay, the guards wait. Um, I'm gonna actually, actually, yeah, I'm going to tell them to wait like a few way away, and I'm just, I'm going to tell them that I'm going to lead Asgag into an alley. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go inside and do just that. Um, yeah, do another, <laughs> wow. Yeah, you. Uh, she's uh, she's quite happy and kind of flirty with you, uh, and goes inside the, uh, and goes to the back alley with you. Okay. The, uh, the guards noticing her going inside the back alley, um, Take the assassin into an alley. Uh, notice in the alley, pounce behind. Can't possibly go wrong. Uh, pounce behind her, uh, and and she turns around immediately and tells you to look out. We're in danger, and she uh, uh, she pushes you out of the way <clears throat> as she fight as she attempts to fight off the guards. She tells you to run. Oh my God! Flux, just seal the deal. Like, <laughs> forget your oath for one night. He can't. If he, the it's not just his oath about the passion. She's evil. Well, What's to honestly say he couldn't try and just simply convert her? I was about to say, convert her, Flux. Convert her. Convince but her the errors of her ways. Brian is not converting with his penis. <laughs> well, fine then. Convert Why her not? first, then you can convert her with the penis. <laughs> the, the assassin is holding off the guard, but she yells at you, Get out of here! Am I the only one thinking of Brock Sampson and that Russian check for fucking Venture Brothers now? Brand's <laughs> gonna draw his great sword. Brand sure us his great sword. Damn it. He's gonna attack the assassin. Oh, alright. Do your attack. Oh. Go lethal or non lethal? I'm assuming take lethal. Alive. Take her alive. Yeah, lethal. Uh, lethal? Aw, oh, take her alive, dude. Come on. Visit her in prison. Oh. You have conjugal visits. Okay. <laughs> Channel. So how do we want to do this? What are you, are you rolling attack? To you. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you not hit anything ever? You, you swing oh, and God. miss the assassin. It kind of looks like to her that you tried to fight off one of the guards. And she says, oh, thank you, honey. Yes. <laughs> I mean, no, Bran's not going to say anything because he can't lie, but he doesn't want to say no. <laughs> Bran is in the most interesting moral dilemma ever. His god or his penis? I don't think I don't think that's why he's in the dilemma. I, I think it has nothing to do with, with wanting to have sex with her, but he probably feels like he broke her trust. Right, Fluxen? Um... <laughs> The assassin, uh, the assassin, then throws down a smoke bomb, grabs, uh, grabs Flux by the hand, and yells, "Come on, let's get out of here!" and runs out of the alley. Oh my god! <laughs> Just head grapple, towards the grapple her, tackle her to the ground. This is where Brain could escape, but no, he's going along. <laughs> you could have just done a grapple. I'm not grappling someone who's smaller and more agile than me. She's gonna slip away. Just take her back to the place and get the discount. Jesus. I'm going to follow her while making I'm sorry motions to the guards. <laughs> the guards can't see anything. They've been they've been blinded by the uh the smoke bomb. Okay, well, I'm going to follow her. <laughs> she takes you uh she takes you out of the back alley and into the uh into the back of uh, one of the houses that looks like uh looks like it belongs to some sort of nobleman, but uh the back of the house itself seems to be some sort of shack or hideaway type area. She says, "Wow, that was intense. You sure know how to show a girl a good time." <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, what do you do for a living? Um, hold on. <laughs> Brand's gonna quickly run through the phrases in his head. <laughs> I help out impoverished people. Oh, wow. That's, that's not a lie. That's noble of you. <laughs> Oh, that's that's great. I I I help out impoverished people, but that that that's only for myself, though. Oh. Have you ever tried helping out people for them? It's a good feeling. Uh, you know, I I tried it once, <laughs> and then I got molested by a priest. So no. <laughs> you you either need to murder this woman and prove all of her misguided <laughs> views as right in her own mind, wait, or you need to convert her in the most amazing way ever back to the light. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. In all honesty, right now. He just heard of uh, an evil act that was committed upon her. Oh. Yeah, that's true. She has been wronged. And there's nothing And there's nothing against him trying to uh, get her to redeem herself. Press it, man. Press it. This is your only way out without killing her. <laughs> you, you, you can't judge all people based on the actions of one. Oh, believe me, I don't, I don't judge everyone based on the actions of one. Otherwise, I would have killed a lot more people than just that priest. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you got revenge. <coughs> well, St. Cuthbert would be happy anyway. What was he a priest of, I wonder? He was a priest of St. Cuthbert. What should be a priest of Heronius? <laughs> <laughs> gotta ask, okay. dude, gotta ask. What was it a priest of? Oh, um, <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it was just a priest of Paylor. Oh, lovely. I'm sure you've, uh, how about you? I'm sure you've had your, your close encounters of the religious kind. Can I coup two to grind the afterglow set? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God! Are you honestly actually trying to bone her, Fluxen? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to I, find I think some he way should. out. I honestly think he should at this point. Uh... <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> if I fight her one on one, I'm gonna get destroyed. <laughs> but you can't keep lying to her either. Or I'm not at least lying. Dancing, or dancing around the truth, I mean. The best part is, we'll only know about this in character if Flux chooses to speak of this event ever. I just wanted a helmet. <laughs> I just want a helmet, not, not have a, an evil assassin fall in love with me and <clears throat> have to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do about it. It could have been the crappiest helmet, just something to cut my face. <laughs> this is why you should have asked for a mask instead. I wanted a helmet. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, yeah. Let's let's use that for what I just asked about. Can I get her into that position? <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, it takes a little bit of talking, but after some whining and and uh, and some talking, uh, you guys uh, you guys do get into that position, and uh, it is uh, it is a little bit later, uh, maybe um, let's say a couple hours later, and uh, you're laying down there in bed. <clears throat> what does she look like? Is she? Sleeping or uh, something? 
Yeah, she's sneaky. She's uh, she's snuggled up next to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brian had innocence before this. It might have been small, but he had some. <laughs> At this point, just walk away and pray for forgiveness. Pran's gonna reach down and try to grab his war axe that he can hold in one hand. Okay. <laughs> you slice the head off of the uh, of the sleeping assassin. Oh. Finally hit something. <laughs> it's a coup de grace. It's pretty much automatic hit. Okay, Pran's gonna take a good five minutes to collect himself. <laughs> oh man. And put his armor and stuff back on. Yeah, you, you take you take your time in in doing that. <clears throat> you uh. You tuck yourself gonna, with the China with that one, buddy. Yeah, he's gonna pray to forgiveness, but not not wait for a response from Heronius. Uh, Heronius <laughs> makes sure. you wait for a response, sir. He's your fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yo, yo, dog. I know that was rough. I know that was tough. I know that was the most difficult thing you've done, but you did it in my name, and that was good. That was good. You hear now? Get the blood off you, because I ain't cool, bro. And he walks away like a pimp. <laughs> get the blood off. It's Theocracy is going to be full of trailer trash. I know, I know it now. <laughs> okay. Ben's going to clean the blood off of himself. You clean yourself up. Oh. He's going to take the body and the head and oh. head to the guard post. You take the body and the head and head to the guard post. The guard looks at you and goes, uh, Sir, generally ventriloquist acts are not allowed here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just insult the injury. I, can I can I talk to your captain? Uh, he looks at you for a second. And says, "Yeah, uh, hold on." Uh, he gets the captain. The captain looks at you and goes, uh, "Sir, I girl. believe you're under arrest." This was an, ass this was an assassin. An assassin. He takes a, a takes a closer look at the head and goes, "Oh, it's her. How did you kill her?" You you don't want to know. Ah, uh, well, there was a reward out there for her, so uh, I'll uh. <laughs> Just hold on. Fluxing can. I swear to God, it's fifty gold. He gives you fifty gold. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to never give up that helmet. Now you realize this. <laughs> this helmet was earned with her blood, possibly in more ways than one. She, she fell. I in doubt she was a virgin. Well, Prince gonna say a quick prayer for the assassin and then just walk <laughs> off. <laughs> May she find salvation with her soul. <laughs> I hope your next dream is a more pleasant one. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna go back to the armor. You go back to the, the armor rest. He's closing up shop. Ah, you're back. I don't. I don't see. Uh, I don't see his gag with you. Channel, channel, no. I'm, Flex, you realize this I'm just gonna will put be down the gold the and ask life, for the helmet. Right. <laughs> he, he takes the fifty gold and gives you the helmet. Ah, no, boy, it sure would have been nice if that hat worked, though. <laughs> I'm putting down the thirty gold. I'm getting more than just a helmet out of this whole adventure. Because we talked him down to 30. Oh, I have 30 gold. <laughs> ah, 30 gold it is, then. He gives you the helmet. It's a shame that hat don't work like you promised, though. Uh, it does something, and I'm never putting it on again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go give it to Faith right now? <laughs> like, here, you can take this cursed thing. <laughs> As yeah, I just... walk off, um, is the hat evil? Uh, you do not detect evil on the hat. It is merely a hat. You just have bad luck. I didn't it say can't that. can't be a hat. Something. It... <laughs> Maybe your god just hates you Channel. and did that as a trial. You can't detect curses. Fran just way. experienced Let's... like the hangover of of this game. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> hangover of this game. <laughs> hangover game the edition. Fran's just gonna walk back to the inn. Okay, you walk back to the inn. Hey Brad, how's your day been? He's gonna say Don't nothing. Don't sound overly too happy there. He's gonna <laughs> say so nothing and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, in character, as far as we know, he just went on a very long, eventful shopping spree. Uh. Guy looking at the other, shrug my shoulder like, ah. He's gonna quickly use lay of hands to make sure he has no diseases on himself. Uh, you. <laughs> Before Brand goes to bed, though. So. Uh, you you use lay on hands on yourself. You let off a big holy fart and feel better. Okay. <laughs> Nell bought him a present. Oh, Nell brought you I a present. I swear to God, if this is some gift of the Magi crap. <laughs> What's the Channel, present? It's a new war hammer. Oh. Right, we forgot to get you a, a replacement war hammer. She brought that you a war hammer. That was sword? <laughs> well, he needs it to smash things, remember? That's, that's true. That's why he kept the hammer after he got the sword. Cause Wait, why didn't we get him a battering ram, though? Thank because you, you can't stick a battering ram in your pocket. Fair enough. 
that um, Brandon's gonna think now and just impart himself and go to sleep. It's been a long, <laughs> long night for Bran. Faith or Faith Rune, like just leans back from his seat and just yells at Bran. I want my hat. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Take it. And he just throws it across the room at you. He, uh, do you do Sweet. that, Flux? Yes. You try to throw it across the room away from you. It, it leaves your hand, but then boomerangs back to you. <laughs> no. No. Lord Cat, really? Yes, you really. Make it curse to him. Yes, I am. <laughs> wow. Chaos. I knew I'd be. <laughs> I knew I'd be. I, I immediately go over to that hat, seeing that, and I'm going to do an arcana check on that hat. Oh, God, with my back gross. <laughs> this, this hat is indeed magical. The best way you could describe it, though, since you don't really know of its magic, is that this is a hat of pimpage. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I knew it! Let's find the sex appeal! You suspect it has a magical... You suspect it has the magical properties of turning the opposite sex of the wearer uh, into very attracted to, uh, to the wearer Channel. if he concentrates on trying to get them attracted. Why do you have a ghost of a dwarven assassin hovering over your shoulder? <laughs> so what yes. you're saying is I that... relay that to Bran. It's like, oh, that hat is stuck to you, and it makes you more pimping. I guess this is the most it harmless makes... person you can go to, but... God. It makes you more charismatic to women, apparently. <coughs> you're just glad me and Dr. Captain didn't get that hat. Dr. Captain and I. I fucking wanted that hat. <laughs> you want it more now, though, don't you? Can I try and just slide of hand it from him to see if it... it... Yeah, you I can just try. Anyway. Just snaps back to him. You can try, yeah. Uh, you grab, uh, you you manage to grab the hat and take it a, a fair distance away from him. Uh, do a uh, do a strength roll. <laughs> <laughs> strength. It's gonna drag him across the fucking room. Come back, hat. Come back. As he slides across the floor. <laughs> the imagery. I, I have a better strength than he does too. That's the worst part. Everyone has a better strength than him. Faith. No. You uh, you oh, manage to hold on to the hat as it drags your ass across the room back to, uh, back to uh, Bran. I just kind of watch this. And say, Congratulations <laughs> for the hat. No. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Bran's gonna go to sleep. <laughs> He's, He's so like, done. This, I'm done. <laughs> so done with today. Channel. <laughs> Dot, 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 the hat does what now? The hat does what now? Uh, the hat <laughs> flies back to uh, to Bran uh, against Faithrune's wishes, and Faithrune is strong enough to hold on to it while it drags him across the floor. I turned Channel, to Thule. Channel, you will find no, a way to no, disenchant that from him. Oh, that wasn't uh, the character. Okay, sorry. If I do, it'll probably remove the enchantment on the hat itself. <sighs> He'd have to take more time to research the hat more in depth to figure out oh, exactly I, what it does. I, I take out my, my ink quilt, my parchment, and, and, and my ink pot, I'm just going to write notes. down. I have, I have on this note I already have of things to research that I found in the tower. I'm just going to add to the very, very bottom of the page, not even as part of the list. Look at that stupid hat. <laughs> 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 Leaving plenty of space between it and the last thing I wrote down. <laughs> now, is... Fluxen can like take the hat off and like put it in his bag. Though, yes, right? it's not for yeah. he's not forced to wear it on no, his head. No, he's not forced to wear it. No, he's taking it off because that would make wearing a helmet very awkward. <laughs> I, th I think we understand now how that orc is so charismatic. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, he um yeah the way they the way it was explained uh, Shea was that they have to concentrate and uh, and really want to get the other person attracted to them. In some Essentially, manner. they have to be hitting on you for it to start affecting <clears throat> you. Kinda, Do not really hitting on you, but at least showing some interest. They have to actually turn their focus to you. Yeah. It, it's it's not some passive aura that just just clicks magically off makes you your vagina here. wet. No. Yeah. So I'm done fucking with Brand for the day. <laughs> I hope Flux doesn't. Was mind. I even at the inn? Because I don't know what time this was happening. Uh, you would have been back at the inn at this time when Brand walked in. Channel okay. That's why she said if they use it on her, she'll do it. Fair enough. I, I hope Flux doesn't to take that too personally. The only one who can use it, Shao, is a paladin who wouldn't be hitting on you in the first place. And even if I did have the hat, I would only use it on someone who was already showing some interest in me. It'd be the deal closer. It wouldn't be the opener. <laughs> the hat is now known as the closer. <laughs> it's not the starting picture. <laughs> <laughs> Lucius <laughs> celibacy going back to Colton the next day. God damn it! <laughs> this is a test. You didn't... This is an obstacle you must pass. You know, it's set to you by your god. Oh god, the night wasn't young. This would have been the perfect place to end it. 
Yeah. Oh dear. Um, that's been a that was a good game today, guys. 